My GPA went from a 3.0 to a 3.94 the year I started listening to lo-fi. To figure out if there's any causation behind that correlation, I tried to teach an AI to generate the ideal study music. I feel like you could listen to it if the volume was at like one and then you walked away and you listened to different music. Please don't release it. Let me explain. Thank you to The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video. When it comes down to focus, I have two modes. I either start a task, blink, and suddenly it's six hours later and I skip two meals, or I surround myself with a controlled level of distraction. What are you doing? I'm focusing. That was until I found lo-fi, hip-hop, chill, beats to study slash relax to sparkle emoji. The titles are a bit much, but you know what I'm talking about. This girl. Anyway, I started listening to it back in 2018 and I saw my GPA just And sure, there are several reasons as to why that could have happened, but lo-fi music definitely makes me feel like I'm better at focusing. Not every song, some slap a little too hard and pull me right out of the zone, but there is a sweet spot. So today, in this video, you and I are gonna figure out why lo-fi hip-hop might help you focus, and if we can teach an AI to generate the perfect mix. So I started my research by looking into the history of lo-fi hip-hop. After that, I got a bit more familiar with other experiments people have done with machine learning to generate new music. And I've got two big takeaways from my initial readings. The first has to do with the structure of lo-fi hip-hop. Its iconic sound is composed of three parts. The first, a jazzy instrumental. The second, a drumbeat combo of bass and snares called boom bap. It's played intentionally off kilter in a style pioneered by the producer and rapper Jay Dilla. And finally, intentional environmental noise that leans even further into the imperfections that define the genre. It usually plays at around 70 to 95 beats per minute and falls within this range of frequencies. And that gives me a few key characteristics to look into when trying to figure out why lo-fi can help people focus. But it also leads to a second thing. It's an ingredient list and recipe for the things I need to teach my machine. Here's the plan. Um, okay, here's how I'm gonna make music with a machine. Step one, I need a bunch of instrumental and drum midis. These are basically files that contain information about the note that's played, how long it's played, a bunch of other stuff. I don't know much about it. I'm an amateur. Step two, uh, I'm gonna sacrifice it to the machine. I'm gonna be using an LSTM. So basically you have a sequence of notes and then the next step in the sequence. You tell the machine, hey, get really good at guessing what the next step is going to be. Uh, and then it gets really good at it. Finally, I'm going to smash that drum and instrumental track together with some ambient music. And I put two step twos. This is step three. And then, profit. Sounds easy, right? It was not easy. I spent the next week swinging between wanting to throw my computer out a window and wanting to throw myself out a window. Oh my god! Oh jeez! Oh my god! <laughs> so, it's been like three days. My code has run fully without error for the first time. So as long as there's any sound, I'm gonna be happy. Okay, let's just play this. I'm not happy. Okay, let's fix this. Okay, so I think I've stopped it from just repeating the same note. Basically, we get caught up in this loop where it was just like, oh, the last note was a C. The next note's probably gonna be a C, but then if it thinks that the, if the last note's C, then the next, it just gets caught up in this loop. Instead, it has like this short list of likely next notes, and then it randomly samples from that short list. Anyway, here's how it sounds. <laughs> that hurt. My forehead isn't, ow. <laughs> All right, um, that was headed to a dark place, so I'm going on a walk to calm down. Um, I'm also going to do a bit of reading as to why, like, those specific characteristics of lo-fi music might help with studying and focus. I'm also going to collect a bit of environmental noise for the final track. 
The more I read, the more I realized that the characteristics that make lo-fi, lo-fi, that steady drumbeat, that frequency range, that faux vinyl crackle, all those things work together to create a sonic environment tuned for focus. It's really interesting. I should warn you that music's impact on your mind isn't universal. It depends on the task at hand and the type of person you are. So if what you're doing requires a lot of thinking or you're currently in a place where you're gonna get easily distracted, you should probably hit mute. We have a limited capacity for attention and music uses up some of that essential resource. In reality, if you wanna focus, silence is almost always the better option. However, background music can provide two key benefits. So here's how lo-fi can help you focus. First, it can block out more intrusive noises by forming an oral cocoon that tunes out or reduces distractions by anchoring them to a predictable rhythm. Second, it can serve as a stimulant. Songs that vibe in the fine line between putting you to sleep and popping off can improve your productivity without being too distracting. And that is where lo-fi hip-hop comes in. The jazzy instrumentals and drum loops are refreshing and fun, but slow and repetitive enough that they become subconsciously predictable. In addition, the dampened frequencies and environmental noise act as a blanket that blends the music together and pushes it into the background using spatialization. This makes the music sound less like a recording playing directly in your ears and more like something in a physical space. Finally, the genre's obsession with comfortable, nostalgic elements, like vinyl crackle and rainy days, can help bring listeners peace and improve their mood. All of this combines to make certain lo-fi hip-hop tracks easy to process and ideal for focus. And with all of that in mind, I now think that I know which parts of lo-fi I should lean into while making new tracks and which ones I should avoid. Now I just need to get the steaming pile of garbage I call my code to actually function. Let's do this. It took another two days and just endless emotional turmoil, but I eventually was ready for my album release. This might have been a bad idea. <laughs> do you all know why you're here? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Apparently this is the listening party. <laughs> Before we get to the songs, I do have a question for you guys, okay? You know me pretty well. On a scale of 1 to 10, how musical do you think I am? Like a 3. Which one's bad? Zero. Zero. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, zero. <laughs> you didn't know who Alicia Keys was! I was just gonna bring that up. So, I would like to present to you the, the music. Which track would you guys like to listen to? The worst one. Yeah, let's work our way up. an anxiety machine. This sounds like, um, no, I'm not going to compare it to any music. That would be a disrespect to music. So you, you're telling me that isn't the lo-fi hip-hop beat to chill and relax to? A little far from that. The next one. Are you ready? Which one would you like? Wait, maybe this is the worst one. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wait for this drop. There is no drop. <laughs> no! Is, is this gonna be available in our newsletter? It will be. Where can I subscribe to the newsletter, Sabrina? You can go to answerinprogress.com forward slash newsletter to sign up. Alright, let's go with the only good try. So, to set the expectations, this is the best I was able to do. Okay. I'm nervous again, actually. Yeah, that, that waveform is really aggressive. Kind of Minecrafty. Very elevator music. Like I'm waiting for my floor. Just past the seventh floor. Yeah. Now we're at the twenty-fourth floor. That was really oh, fast. Damn, that elevator's real fast. I'm gonna close my eyes. It's getting creepier. I think the more that I listen to it, I'm like, I should not listen to this anymore. Unsettling. It is slightly unsettling, however, you know, it's just like, I don't know if it's a chill lo-fi beat, but from listening to this compared to the first lo-fi beat singular that you created, this is, this is a lot, there's a lot of improvement here. Here's what it sounds like if I just use like an actual drum loop designed by a human being. This 
This one's good. <laughs> the, the big question, Taha, could you study to this? I would definitely study to this. I feel like I have studied to this. How do you guys think I did? I think you did badly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that the drum loop that you got did a lot of the heavy lifting here. Melissa? <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> Speechless. In fairness, it's, it's pretty impressive that you got, like, some semblance of, like, vibes. Yeah. We've created a new genre of music. Beats to be anxious to. <laughs> Beats to be anxious to. <laughs> Okay, so while that wasn't the hardest video I've ever had to make, I definitely felt like I bit off more than I can chew way more than once. It was the first time in a while that I truly didn't know how to even start. Every step I just felt out of my element and I felt like there was just so much more I needed to learn. But even though it took way longer than expected, it was really nice to go from this to this. This one's good! knowing all of the hard work that went behind it. And by the end, we were able to figure out why lo-fi hip hop and ambient music can help you study. And also, make a few decent beats of our own. Kind of. Okay, I'll admit, it was far from perfect. But if we gave up because our first attempt or our first dozen attempts weren't perfect, we wouldn't get very far. You know, that's just a lesson in lo-fi and in life, I. Nah, that was a bad one. Bye! Hey there, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please consider sharing it with a few friends. It is easily the biggest way you can help this channel grow. Another way is to stick around as I thank The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video while I turn myself into a lo-fi hip-hop girl. So I found that learning things gets a lot harder after you leave like the guided learning environment of university. And unfortunately, I don't have the time or money to head back. Luckily, I use The Great Courses Plus. It's a subscription on demand video learning service with these amazing lectures and courses from top professors from Ivy League universities and experts from major institutions. Your subscription gets you access to over 11,000 videos covering everything from music theory to math and more. I recommend Music and the Brain. It explores the neuroscience of music and what happens when melody meets the mind. It helped me better understand the concepts that tie lo fi and focus together. You could learn at your own pace at any time or any place without worrying about tech which is the greatest feeling in the world. You could get started with The Great Courses Plus today if you head on over to thegreatcoursesplus.com forward slash answer in progress. Or you can click the first link in the description. So get started with The Great Courses Plus today. But either way, have a lovely day. It's done. <laughs>